tell administrators who say, well, the law lets me do only what's reasonably calculated. Why should I get a phonetic-based system? How do we um, diagnose children and differentiate, and kind of going back to what you said, between the impoverished but, dis but not disabled child and the impoverished and disabled child? Uh, Lexi Hughes wrote a poem. Uh, that in many cases to me encapsulates where we are with dyslexia and if you modify just a few words It begins to speak to where so many of our children are the poem is I too am America But when you flip it and remix it a little bit uh, It says I too am brilliant. I'm the dyslexic child they send me to the kitchen when company comes. They send me to the LD class. They send me away. They send me outside. They say what I can't do. But one day, I'll sit at the desk. I'll sit in the college. I'll sit in the boardroom. I'll sit in this job. And they will see how brilliant I am. And they'll be ashamed. We should be ashamed of ourselves if we do not shout from the rooftops what so many young people have the capability to do, but are not being given the opportunity to, not because they're not brilliant, but because we're not brilliant enough to set the pieces in place to let their brilliance shine. That is where the action gap is. And we can have all of these conversations and all of these tours and all of these discussions, but it is all for naught if we don't connect the dots and change policy, change behavior, change relationship, and thus change opportunity. And so thank you all so much for being a part of this discussion. But thank you more for being part of the solution. Have a um, I'd just like to say that this was a wonderful evening and a great opportunity. It was so wonderful hearing the folks from Yale. Dyslexia awareness is a big thing, and I think more people should get involved. I'm glad that Georgia State partnered with us from Yale to do this event to talk about the importance of dyslexia for communities of color. What's up? This is Jeff Johnson. We're at Georgia State just coming out of an amazing conversation on dyslexia in the minority community. But the bottom line is no matter who you are, no matter where you are, you can make a difference on this. Whether it's sharing information, whether it's getting a young person in the hands of somebody that can help mold them, whether it's writing a check to an organization that's doing work, or whether it's simply pushing those that you know to understand that dyslexia is real and that we can bridge the gap by making sure that we share information and challenge people to go to the next level.